How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're doing a tutorial on sensitivity and key bindings for Halo Online. If you are like me, haven't played a Halo game on PC for quite some time, you're probably wondering, well, what's a good sensitivity? And what are the right kind of key bindings? What bindings should I do to help improve my game? Uh, and, and so in this video, I'm gonna give you a little tutorial about that. Now, now that Halo Online does have controller support, so you're thinking, well, I'll just plug in a controller and I'll be just fine. That will be okay, but honestly, when you're playing on PC, you'll really find the advantages of playing with a mouse and keyboard over a controller eventually. And it's, it's trust me, playing shooters with a mouse and keyboard is honestly the best way to play a shooter. Uh, sadly enough, Halo Online is the only real PC version to play, except for Halo 5 Online, but yeah, that one's kind of dead right now at the moment. So. In this video, I want to talk about your key bindings and sensitivity. So now there is like a right and wrong sensitivity you can run with in this game. Uh, when I first started out, I started to run with a low sensitivity because that's what I'm used to when I'm playing shooters on PC, much like Call of Duty or like the Battlefield series or any other kind of shooter I've played or like Counter-Strike even. I run with a much lower sensitivity than the default sensitivity. And that's mainly because you're kind of standing still for the most part, ducking, covering, and then using your mouse to aim. We're in Halo. The aiming's much different because you have to strafe left and right, kind of move around a little bit, and aim at the same time. Movement is very key in Halo. And so what I actually found is you, you want to actually kind of use the WASD keys to kind of move your cursor into the general direction. And then you use your mouse as kind of the minute little details. You don't really want to move much more than this, really. But so the right sensitivity is ultimately up to you and your DPI and your mouse. Uh, though, what I like to do is, uh, for my gameplay is that you want to make sure that you can at least turn 90 degrees within a simple, simple turn. I mean, so like right here, I'll turn to the right, 90 degrees. And that's about my max movement on my wrist. You can't see that, but that's about the, my max movement I want to do. So as long as you can kind of do, turn, do a 90 degree turn rather easily, that's about the right sensitivity. And where you don't feel like you have to keep picking up your mouse. If you keep on to pick up your mouse, you'll be aiming around like this. Not good. You don't want to do that. Now, some people do like to, you know, have their wrist up and kind of use their whole arm to aim. You know, that's something you can do. It's up to preference. I like to plant my wrist when I'm playing with my my mouse. Uh, obviously, it might not be the most effective way, but that's my most comfortable way to play in the game. Is I like to plant my wrist when it comes to using a mouse and keyboard. So, uh, I'll show you my sensitivities right here. Uh, I'll go over to controls. Yeah, you can see I run with a 46 sensitivity. I believe the default is 25. When I first started playing, I bumped it down to 15. It wasn't really working out for me. And then I bumped up to 46. It took me like about, honestly, like three hours. And then I was actually getting used to the sensitivity, getting used to playing back on the mouse and keyboard. Uh, you definitely want to have raw input on. Turn off mouse acceleration. Always, always, always turn off mouse acceleration when it comes to playing on a shooter. And um, you'll be doing a lot better, trust me. And uh, so those are, that's kind of how I like to run my sensitivities. 46 all around, you can tweak it however you like, but that's kind of how I'm feeling when it comes to aiming. Now when it comes to key bindings, most of it's rather uh, default. I did switch Q to switching grenades, because Q is not really a used button, so like, uh, Q is honestly something you can utilize for whatever you would like to use it. I like to use, um, you know, changing grenades for Q. Uh, switching weapons, I have it on P because that's what my mouse is mapped to. So that's one of my. I have two buttons on my mouse on the side here. So my one of my buttons is switch weapons. So I can keep don't have to press leave you know keep, move my fingers off the keys or off my mouse at all. And uh, using my utilizing my thumb on my mouse, I can switch to my weapon no problem. Now uh, I also switch mapped my equipment in Halo 3. I mapped that to my mouse button as well, so I don't have to you know, uh, look off to the side or look away when I want to use equipment, which is super useful. I don't know why I kicked off my screen there. It's kind of a bad move. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so go back to here. Scroll down. I use caps lock for grenade. That might not be the most effective thing, but that's what I've gotten used to from playing like my game, shooter games on like Battlefield on PC. Uh, caps lock seems to be working all right for me. And um, so maybe, maybe you guys have a different button. That works well right for you as well. Uh, shift left shift for sprint. You know, obviously it comes to your preference right there as well. Uh, yes, I use equipment. I have a map to my mouse button, as so I don't have to you know move my fingers off any, anything. Uh, Banshee bomb, mouse right. Let's keep that in mind right there, because that's something. Because when you're in a vehicle, you're not really using your right uh, mouse click very much. So that's a very important thing to use right there. Is what utilize as well. 
Um, I like to use push to talk on my left alt because unless I'm jumping, I'm not really utilizing my thumb. And if I want to make a call out or talk to anybody, I find using left alt to be rather easy when it comes to that. Um, chat, team chat, obviously your preference. I've come to use J and K for those. Uh, I do believe I have one more thing I want to mention before uh, calling it good on this video. Me melee. I have melee set to my middle mouse button. Um, I think default is F. Again, I find that very awkward. Uh, I really want to try to avoid taking my fingers off the W. Not, well, I really want to avoid having my fingers leave the WASD keys as much as possible. And so I found that moving my melee to pressing in the middle mouse button seems to work rather well. Uh, I don't really have anything mapped to scrolling besides maybe like a you can switch weapon here if you scroll down. Uh, scrolling up, I don't have anything really, but uh, obviously you can maybe if you want to map your uh, equipment to uh, mouse wheel up, that'd be useful because you can look up and throw a grenade, th th toss your equipment because momentum, tossing your, your equipment is affected by the momentum of your character. So if you're jumping, you want to be able to also jump, look, and toss without having to really move your fingers off the keys that much. So maybe forward mouse wheel would work out really well uh, as well. But uh, that's kind of my general setup right there for key bindings and mouse sensitivity. Like again, like uh, well, I, like I said, but from a basic aiming technique, I kind of use my WASD keys to kind of move my cursor into the aim I want to, and then using minute movements with my right hand to keep on target and aim around. Now, obviously, it's going to take you a bit of time to get back into using a sh using your mouse and keyboard. It t definitely worked. Literally, took me about three hours to get used to it. But then, as I got back into, it, I'm like, oh yes, the good feels of using mouse and keyboard because it's so much better than a controller. I uh, highly suggest if you really want to make sure they can you know, keep up with everybody, you want to be using mouse and keyboard instead of a controller. Even though you maybe feel more comfortable with the controller, uh, you definitely want to try to get better with this. So anyways guys, if you found this video very helpful and uh, you want to help other people get some more help other people with their mouse sensitivities and key binding suggestions, well, you can always tap uh, the subscribe button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Share this video around. And also give it a like and help get this video some more notoriety so in case anybody else is looking online here on YouTube is looking for tips and tricks when it comes to helping out your mouse sensitivity and key bindings. They can help find this video a lot better. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.